are you embarrassed? Because I'm embarrassed. Luckily, I don't get embarrassed very easily. You know, embarrassment is just kind of something you like bring upon yourself. If you don't feel the embarrassment, then who cares? It's like the best feeling when something embarrassing happens, but you don't get embarrassed by it right? If you have an embarrassing moment, let me know in the comments. I do remember one embarrassing moment. I was a kid and I was walking up to my grade school and it was slippery because it was winter and I totally backpack and everything wiped out on the ice in front of all the school drop off and in front of all the school buses. Everyone saw, people laughed. It was absolutely mortifying. And I was a kid and I was like, this is so embarrassing. Like worst fear ever came true. Anyways, cheers to that. Hope you're having a good day. You already know what's in my cup. It's water. What you don't realize there is a sheet of ice on the ground. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> but someone give that man an award. He needs to take up some kind of sport like surfing, snowboarding, because he stayed balanced that entire time. He really didn't even flinch, you know, like he didn't do no wobble. He didn't almost lose his balance. He got his stance, held in his core, 10 out of 10. Like if I had a sign, that was a 10, you know? Oh my God. You gotta go, let's go. Dude, just sit down. Just go for it. You're fine. Full send. Put your butt first. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <gasps> <gasps> and you took your friend with ya. Mm hmm The guy in the back was like, I, I did great. Doesn't even matter. Now you gotta do it again and your uh, seat is wet. But let's be honest, if you have ever been in a kayak, those things are very hard to get on because the balance of it, and it's just hard. It's very difficult to get on one of those things. I always prefer when someone's in there first, um, so it's more like weight and grounded, it's not easy. And the worst part, oh, excuse me, is when they tip when you're in the water and then you wanna, you have to try to get back in. Like once you're already in the water, it's awful. Oh, that was impressive. I hope this is after hours, all your employees are out there. <gasps> Okay, you literally have four employees outside throwing garbage bags. Um, is this after our shift was over? Honestly, when I used to work at Tim Hortons, my friend and I used to like doing garbage together because we would just like take our time and you had to walk pretty far in the parking lot to throw the garbage out. And we would like take our time, we'd hang out. And then like our manager caught on and they would never send us to do garbage together again because it was like a hangout for us. <laughs> Oh my god, sir, come on now. This cannot be the first time you are realizing your height. I like felt that. I felt the shock of it more than anything. <gasps> oh, oh, come on. I don't even know what you expect. Oh, there's a little doggy at the end. But even in just by looking at the ice, I don't even need to press play. Looking at that ice, it's way too thin. You can't walk on that. It's too thin. Any amount of pressure, you're going right through. I don't trust it. <laughs> That's so funny. This has happened before. I have definitely startled Matt with a face mask before because if you're not expecting it, it is very alarming. I've startled myself in the mirror before, forgetting I had them. You're like, ooh, they're very intense. There's no cute face mask. They've tried to like create them where they make them in shapes of like, it's an owl, it's Minnie Mouse. And then I just literally look like a serial killer. So they're not, they're not cute. Oh, he's so going in that pool thing. I just know it. <gasps> oh, okay. Ugh. Man's got lucky. Like that sucks. But I thought for sure, since he's on the phone, that he was gonna fall back and phone was going to be destroyed. So, not the worst day ever, but not the best. Let me see. Whoa, what the <gasps> hell? Oh! Yo, that is literally the story of what I told you when I slipped on ice, except he, he actually fell forward and his hands weren't there and he smoked his face on the floor. I fell backwards with my backpack, which actually helped break some of the fall, but I was so, I'll never forget that feeling of like, 
Now I have to stand up and face what just happened. And it was mortifying. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, is this prom? Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I for sure thought he was taking her down with him. For sure. Because I thought he had it, her hand and like maybe tried to get balance. Oh, I thought she was going to. I'm doing a replay on that because he did a little like Irish jig with his feet. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh. Look at you. One, two, three. He had no idea. Where does he slip? Oh! Oh, I bet he just freshly polished those shoes too. Yeah. That's okay, man. That's okay. Just get up, shake it off. Taylor Swift, words to live by. Come on, man. No, no. Oh, yeah, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Even as he went for the dive, I was like, ooh, belly flop, that would hurt. Belly flop, that probably helped break the fall of cracking his skull on the table. I can feel that, I can feel that. I've only done VR once and it was like a table tennis game and that was enough for me. It freaks me out, it's a little too realistic. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't feel like I am aware of my surroundings <laughs> and it's freaky. Man, it's always ice. Ice messes everything up. Oh, there goes the salt. Is that salt? <laughs> Goodbye. I love that he just watched it. <laughs> he just watched it happen. He knew, because the second he lets go and tries to pick it up, then he's gone. And it's either me or the bag of ice. I pick me. Oh my God, that's mortifying. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even get to hear her scream. <laughs> I, you could picture it. I feel like we can get a good idea of what the scream would be. But if anyone pulled that prank on me, no lie. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not saying it as a joke. I would quite literally poop my pants. <gasps> oh my God. You're gonna start a fight. You're gonna start a fight because someone's gonna turn around and be like, did you just throw a drink at me? I can see the panic in her face too immediately. She's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. like, just let me swallow this gulp that I took so I can explain to you that I did not throw my drink on you and I did not spit it on you on purpose. <sighs> what a risky little game from this guy. You could ruin your whole night with this. Oh no, girl. <laughs> Oh, she's going at it. Oh, I wonder what game she's playing that she's like full on Jerry Springer mode. She's throwing punches left and right. Oh, maybe it's that zombie game. I've seen a lot of people do these like VR zombie ones where that you basically have to just fight off zombies. Do they have VR games where you're just like fist fighting somebody? <laughs> Ooh, maybe boxing. That'd be weird because the person would be swinging at you, but you would never feel it. Maybe the thing vibrates. Anyways, okay, I'm just getting too creative here. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Surely that is not allowed on a ride. You cannot bring food on a ride like that. That's so dangerous. You could choke. No. How did you even sneak that on? It's a whole ass corn dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah. What a waste. You lost half your corn dog. But my concern was that even if you took a bite and it dropped, it would like shoot back in your throat and you would choke. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was three seconds long and there was so much packed in that three seconds. Hold on, I didn't even get to absorb that information. Replay. Ah! <laughs> so he screams in her face, which happens to scare her. So she throws a punch out of instinct, I'm assuming. He laughs, goes to leave. And why is that fridge, the freezer door is wide open, clotheslines this man, wow. I never thought that so much could happen in three seconds. All right guys, since I shared my embarrassing story, I think it's only fair that you tell me an embarrassing moment in your life in the comments. It's only fair. I'm out of here. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow.